If you have type 1 diabetes and you're heading for college, you may be worried about how you'll survive the next four years. Luckily, there are some steps you can take to make sure your diabetes doesn't interfere with your college experience. First, let other people know you have diabetes. It may not seem like the most appealing way to introduce yourself, but your roommate, resident assistant, and some friends need to know what to do in an emergency situation. For example, if your blood sugar is low and you need assistance. Provide them with a list of emergency directions and contacts in case something unexpected happens. It's also important to be aware of how your body feels. Studying for college can be stressful and it can be tough to know the difference between regular stress or fatigue and low blood sugar. Try to make time to regroup and assess how you feel before deciding to move from one activity to the next. College partying is another concern when it comes to diabetes. Excessive drinking can cause low blood sugar often hours after you stop drinking. So check your blood sugar before you first drink and again before you go to bed. It's also a good idea to eat while drinking to prevent your blood sugar from dropping to a dangerously low level. Another useful tip is to utilize your campus's health services. Even if you're continuing treatment with your regular doctor at home, it's important to have a backup like the campus physician who knows you and your situation. And one last thing, keep snacks handy for when you feel your blood sugar dropping. Carry them with you to class, study groups, and parties. You never know when you'll need them.